it's hardly shocking that the Department of Justice uh, has put out a report showing that the Phoenix Police Department uh, routinely discriminates and uses excessive force against people, violates people's civil rights, and is involved in a pattern of uh, racism. They're cops, and that is what most cops do. They're racist, they like to abuse people, they commonly use excessive force. The chiefs of police and stuff like that know what's going on. That's why you got uh, police gangs like the Goon Squad and stuff like that, where these cops are known to use excessive force and they're protected. federal investigation into the Phoenix Police Department found a pattern of discrimination against a wide range of people, including what it called unjustified violence and even deaths. The Department of Justice released the results of a nearly three-year inquiry yesterday. Chris Van Cleve reports. The 126-page DOJ report paints a damning picture of the Phoenix Police Department, alleging the agency engaged in a pattern or practice of discriminating against black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, using excessive force, including unjustified deadly force, violating free speech rights, and unlawfully detaining homeless people. The police department turned a blind eye to the data, ignored these unmistakable warnings, and failed to uncover its own discriminatory policing patterns. The Phoenix police. Yeah, <clears throat> no, no real surprise that the police wouldn't be punishing themselves for stuff that they condone. Uh, I mean, cops routinely prove that the majority of them are pretty racist and discriminatory towards people, as well as they really hate homeless people. This union flatly rejected the report. This investigation is a farce. In the end, the taxpayers are fleeced and our community will be less safe. Among the findings, between 2016 and 2022, more than a third of all Phoenix police arrests were people experiencing homelessness. Black people were seven times more likely to be arrested for marijuana possession than whites, Hispanic people three times more likely, and Native Americans were 44 times more likely than white people to be cited or arrested for possessing or consuming alcohol. Interim Police Chief Michael Sullivan. We're midway through 2024. Uh, we've made a lot of changes. Sullivan and city manager Jeff Barton told us they're still reviewing the report's findings. You read it, uh, sort of the 30,000 foot takeaway if you look like me, you're going to have one experience with the Phoenix Police Department. And if you don't, you are far more likely to have a much more negative experience. What they're presenting as findings, they are troubling. And if that is in fact where we are, we will fix it and we will correct it. It is important that we look very, very deeply uh, because we have to build trust and, and you know, those numbers uh, as presented as don't build trust. Now, DOJ is calling for federal oversight of the police department. Phoenix's elected leaders will meet later this month to discuss how the nation's fifth largest city will respond.